Rondo might have surgery. Is there any update on his progress in that front? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. To the end, so. Hopefully, I am honest. Doc, how have you noticed teams are defending you differently now, especially you're playing small ball versus football? Well, they're starting to pressure a little bit more. Um, you know, but other than that, not much. Uh, one thing they're matching up to us, which is not all bad for us because we can't match big if they go big. I thought that's one of the things the Clippers did. They stayed big for a while, and we had to take the gamble, and it paid off for us, but it could have easily gone the other way, too. Uh, it did hurt us on the glass a little bit. Um, but other than that, not much. How different is this Toronto team of Rudy? How different is Toronto with Rudy now? Well, they're, uh, they're better. You know, they've added a great score to a team that could already score, even though they hadn't been scoring much this year. Uh, and Lowry now full-time, they're running a lot more. Uh, so they're really pushing the uh, pace. And that may be because they haven't had a lot of practices, so they don't have anything to run. Uh, but now that they have, uh, you, uh, they're going to be a much better team. Is that conducive to the way you guys are playing as far as matching up with them in terms of pace, things like that? Well, but... That's who they are, you know. Uh, you know, it's one of the things I tell our guys. We, we have to be who we are no matter what the other team is trying to do or do. Uh, but, yeah, they're going to run. We're going to run. Can you act? There's been a lot of trade talk lately. Can yeah, you act? All from you guys. <laughs> yeah. None from us. Really, really. Yeah. I, I, would, yeah. I will like to say that. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. I like you guys. Sometimes some of the stuff that happens is just silly. It, it really is. Uh, when I wake up in the morning and I hear a trade rumor that I haven't heard in my office, that's silly. And that's what happens. How do you handle that with your players? Do you I don't. Sure you uh, they know. I don't, I don't even address it. I really don't. I rarely do. I don't 99.9% .9 of the time because some of it is so silly. I heard one report, I honestly did, uh, that me, Chauncey, Kevin, and Paul had dinner. And I was like, well, I wish I had known about it. That would have been terrific because I would have made them pay and I could have had a free dinner. Uh, but it's just silly what goes on. And, and I don't think it's honestly you. I think it's uh, someone can sit behind a computer and write something. The problem is now you guys have to actually report it, which you shouldn't do. Uh, but you do, and it becomes an uh, issue. Do you this is a trick, though. Trade stuff is going on around this time. How do you Not here. But how do you keep <laughs> you guys still here? You know, focus, pay attention to the game at hand rather than... Well, they do. Stuff. They just do. You know, fortunately for our guys, a lot of them are veterans, so they've been through the drill. They know how it is. Uh, you know, they know now that if you suggest, hey, what about if someone did this, it becomes actual. You know, in the, uh, you know, I think what's changed in my time as an athlete, uh, no longer an athlete, as a coach, is um, it used to be factual. Now it's... Uh, Someone can say something and they can create the news and then they can report on the news that they create. Uh, and I think that's pretty silly. What do you want to happen to this roster? Uh, I like a roster. So nothing. There's your answer. Yeah. How tough is this time of year, though, for the younger players or guys who's Well, I, I think it's, it depends there. on each individual guy. You know, sometimes, like I thought it affected Ray a couple years ago. Um, some guys could care less. You know, some guys... It affects, so you just never know. Paul's been through it so much. He just told us a couple minutes ago, Doc, you know, whatever gets reported out there, it just ro ro rolls off his shoulder. Is that the yeah, way it I, is? I think that's honestly most of the league now. I think in our era when the trade was being discussed, you probably should get nervous because it may have been true. Nowadays, hell, I can, you can't believe half the things you, you read or, or hear, and it's too bad. Is it safe to say? How will this win tomorrow night kind of propel you forward and get that momentum for Thursday's game? I'm not worried about Thursday's game. I'm worried about the Raptors only. You know, well, we'll keep the uh, momentum that it'll give you. Yeah, well, we gotta we gotta play the game first. You know, so uh, you know we just gotta keep winning games. And you know, we're an individual team. I, I said that as far as individual games, that's how we have to play. Uh, so right now, our focus is on one game. That's the Raptors. At the beginning of the season, were you thinking? You would be willing to take a little less from Paul and KG because they're getting older, and, and they're, as it turns out, having to do more than you want to help. Yeah, but you know, Paul's doing a little bit more right now. Kevin has been Kevin all year. I don't think Kevin's changed the way he's played much at all. Uh, you know, we've had more overtime games than I would like that has extended Kevin in those games, but 
other than that, really, Kevin's just playing basketball. Paul is, is uh, he's being used properly, really. Um, you know, his minutes haven't gone up in this stretch much, so uh, we like the way we're playing. But his responsibility maybe has gone up. Yeah, but that that's I don't think that's that taxing. You know, hell, you're going to play basketball, you might as well be responsible for it. The offense you're playing right now, could Rondo fit into that system? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that something, the success you're seeing with it right now, is it something that you down the line you would consider? Oh, absolutely. And, and yeah, it? I think it would be a good fit for anyone. Is it, well, for, when he's involved, like, would it look exactly the same as it does right now? It should, or? yeah. I mean, he would have the ball less at times. Uh, he'd do more cutting and spacing, but yeah. Do, do these guys, to, did these guys defer to him a little too much? I don't know, Murph. I, I, the one thing I don't want to get into is Rondo's not playing right now. You know, and, and I hate to say this, we keep going back to that. He's not playing right now. Uh, the guys that I have playing are Jeff Green, Courtney Lee, Jason Terry. I'd rather prefer to focus on them. Offensively, do you think, like, going back to the spread offense, is that just a better fit for this roster? Yeah, I've offense? always thought it was. I mean, and it's, and it's really, we haven't changed our offense much at all. It's, it's uh, it's a call that we've been running all year. We just haven't been very good at it. Um, the second unit, um, you know, over the last 10 games have, has been terrific uh, running it, and the first unit has not been. Now the first unit is just doing what the second unit is already doing. And, um, you know, it's good.